every one of the thousands of Northeast Ohio veterans make their own health a priority for whatever reason. Our series continues now with a way to bring health care directly to them. There are a lot of uh, veterans who don't have access or can't, you know, get up to the VA hospital or in these various branches. I think it's a, a spectacular idea. The ride for veterans who may be traveling a bumpy road can now be a bit smoother. Any questions that you have? Well, no, I believe the medication that you prescribed for me is what was needed. I think I'll do all right. This mobile medical unit recently unveiled by the VA Northeast Ohio Healthcare System is a lifeline. It's an exam room on wheels, moving from location to location. I can bring the appointment to you. Robert is a registered nurse, driver, confidant. He does it all, and it all starts with actively seeking out veterans. I love how you phrased that. Yes. You seek them out. Yes. You didn't just get this truck, this mobile unit, and park it in a lot and say, hey, we're here. No. You go find them. Correct. And there is a strategy to find veterans where they are, wherever that might be, on the street, in a shelter, in a facility. Jesse served on submarines in the Navy. He says having health care on wheels makes it easier to take time for his health. And by doing so, Jesse leads by example. If we can help get the next guy in there who wouldn't normally take that, that moment to go, I mean, it's, it's a blessing for me in return. So. That's awesome. Kevin served in the Army. He appreciates the convenience of having this unit roll up and help in a number of ways, physical, mental, social services. It's all part of total health care. No, most definitely. Yeah. In ways you could never imagine these people helped me. With over 35,000 veterans experiencing homelessness, hundreds right here in Ohio, many can't or won't seek out health care men and women who were willing to defend our nation. Johnny served overseas in the Navy, popular guy still leading others. If I come down, they feel more comfortable. They ask me what went on, and I tell them, and they'd be anxious to come down themselves. 25 of these vehicles are spread out across the country. This one is for veterans right here. Veterans who, for whatever reason, need this unit and these people in their lives. So it's been a, a, a blessing for you. It's been a plus in your life. Absolutely. Any questions that you have? I used to tell people, you know, you can't love a job. You can only love people, you know. So I'm, I'm starting to find that maybe I can love people and a job. How about that? This unit works alongside the VA hospital. It's a way to extend the mission. If further care is needed, plans are made. Now, this did cost some money, worth every penny, if you listen to Jesse, Johnny, and Kevin. The Secretary of Veterans Affairs had nothing but praise for the mobile medical unit right here in Northeast Ohio. Secretary Dennis McDonough was at the Cleveland VA yesterday to host a town hall with veterans. News 5, the only TV station there, when he answered journalist questions after the town hall. He told us plenty of vets have had bad experiences with the VA. He's hoping to rebuild that trust slowly and intentionally and said services like this mobile medical unit go a long way toward that mission. It is a manifestation of that effort to build trust with those veterans, to bring care to them, to say we care so much about you and what you've done for this country that we're bringing our care to you. Mr. McDonough said the VA has set a goal to get 38,000 veterans into permanent housing each year since 2022 and exceeded that goal every time. He believes in a housing first approach, saying once a veteran is in permanent housing, other things like substance abuse, mental health, or unemployment become more manageable with wraparound services from the VA.